Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. We're continuing our series in Philippians, Paul's letter from lockdown. Last time we were looking at chapter 1, verse 6, where Paul speaks of his confidence in God for his Philippian friends. He says that God who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. In saying these things, Paul puts a solid rock beneath our feet at a time like this when people are so anxious about coronavirus and what the future holds. Remember, we compared this to bookends in the Christian's life. At the one end, God began a good work in you. At the other, he will carry it on to completion. But some of you may be saying, look, Eddie, that's all very well. I get it that if God has begun a good work in me, he will carry it on to completion. But how do I know that God has begun a good work in me? Well, that's a good question. We must always answer these questions from the Bible text itself, not just from our own ideas or our own sentimental feelings. What does God reveal to us in scripture? Let's ask the question, how did Paul come to this confidence about his Philippian friends? What was it that persuaded him that God had begun a good work in their life? And you'll find the answer in the text, where in chapter 1, verse 5, he's spoken about their partnership in the gospel from the first day till now. Jesus said, you'll know whether people are genuinely my disciples by the fruit in their life. So Paul looked at the life of these Philippian people, and what he saw was that their life had been changed by the Lord Jesus Christ. They used to live for themselves. Now they're living for Christ and the gospel. That's the evidence that God has begun a good work in them. It showed in the way that they lived, in their words, in their deeds, in how they used their time, how they used their money, even in their willingness to suffer for the gospel of Christ, there was this visible evidence that God had begun a good work in their life. So what about you? When you look at your life, is Christ in the driving seat? Is Christ now directing your life, whereas you used to be the director yourself, choosing your own course? Is Christ reshaping your values and your attitudes and your ambitions? Then God has begun a good work in you, and he will carry that on to completion. Okay? No, it's not okay, Eddie, some of you say. How can I be a Christian if I still mess up? So you're looking at the sin that remains in your life. Well, of course, we would all like to be free of that. But notice this. The sign that God has begun a good work in you is not perfection, but progress. Remember what Paul said to these Philippian Christians? I'm confident that he who has begun a good work in you will carry it on to completion. In other words, it's not yet completed, but God is carrying it on to completion. You see, these Philippian Christians were not perfect. As you read on in the letter, you'll find that they were still making many mistakes. They had troubles and problems and faults in their lives, just as we do. But the life of God was there, shining through the bad stuff. They were growing because the Christian life is a life of growth. Even the Apostle Paul wasn't perfect. When you get to chapter 3, verse 12 of this letter, he says, hey, friends, I want you to understand, I've not yet arrived. I haven't yet attained everything that God has in store for me, but I'm pressing on. And that's the sign that God is at work in our lives. Neither the Philippians nor Paul were perfect, but both had a genuine desire to follow Christ. You know, the word disciple means learner. And just like learner drivers in the UK, uh, we will wear our L plates as Christians all the way to heaven. Well, are there signs of life in you? Do you want to grow? Is there evidence there of a real desire to follow Jesus? Then if so, God has begun a good work in you, and all through your life, he will be working to make you more like Christ. What God starts, 
he finishes. And if you don't yet know this for yourself, then why not cry out to God now? Tell him that you want to be his child. Tell him that you're willing to follow Christ, whatever it costs, wherever Christ leads you. God always runs to answer prayers like that. Let me pray with you now. Father God, please will you grant every one of us a genuine faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive our many faults and keep us growing in Christ for your glory's sake. Amen. God bless you, dear friends. Bye for now.